Well, guys, I'm finally um I'm downgrading my my Acer back to Windows 7 again. Yes, I did have the Windows 10 preview on here. Um, sadly, I had to downgrade it because um a lot of programs don't work, and as I'm not sure if you heard, but I'll be using this as my main computer for a while until I get another one with Windows 10 because I'm selling my normal laptop because personally. It's been slow. It's been messing up lately. I'm not really liking it too much. It's kind of get, it's getting hot when using it, and I just feel like it wasn't a very good computer. And the processor's an i3, so I'm gonna end up selling it and using this one for now since Windows 10 isn't out yet. And then getting a Windows 10 computer when it comes out that's not touchscreen this time. Unless it was like a good touchscreen, but I probably won't get a touchscreen at all. Um. It's pretty sad. I liked using it, but I don't. I can't rely on having a beta on my computer, especially since I'm going to be using this as my main computer, which at the time I didn't realize. Like, I had a feeling I might have been actually, but I thought it would be fine. But certain programs that we use, it turns out it doesn't work at all. So, just let you know. Right now, I'm downgrading it back to Windows 7 with the recovery disks. I created another set of recovery disks. This is the third one. The second one's in there right now. And the first one's right on top of the computer right there. So, it's copying the files over and then it's going to restore it. I wonder if it'll have all the updates or not. Probably not because it probably used the recovery partition to create the disks. My guess it doesn't. So, anyways. I'm going to let this run, and I guess thanks for watching. I might do another video later on this computer, I think, for now, because um, I can't work on much longer, because it'll take hours to update, and I have school tomorrow and have to go to bed early and do some homework, so I'm probably going to end up doing the updates over the weekend. However, there's some programs I need to install, like, um... My stepsisters like to play some games on it, like a game on it, and it's not compatible with Windows 10, it turns out. So, they want to be able to play, so I guess, I'm, I'm sure it won't, it'll be fine, it won't get a virus or anything, because it's safe, so. Hopefully I'll be able to download all the stuff, hopefully it'll run on without updating Windows 7, but hey, maybe I'll get lucky and all the updates will already be in here, because I created the disks after, you know, I created the recovery disks, like, like a month ago, like the this set on the second of um October and today's um November eleventh, so known as Patch Tuesday. <laughs> Let's hope th those updates aren't bad. I was <laughs> still like, whoa, I hope those updates aren't bad. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. This is a very depressing moment right now, but it needs to be done. I better go because it's probably gonna want the third recovery disc and it's gonna be hard to put it in on camera. So probably with the next few percentage, it'll ask for it. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I have a good regular question, actually. What was one of the most depressing... Uh, did I ever do, did I do this question already? I think I might have. Like, what was one of the most, like, depressing things that you had to do with the computer? So what depressed you the most when um with your computer so like for me downgrading back to windows 7 is kind of depressing so like what's one of the things that really depressed you the most about computers like that you had to do you know so that'd be a good question i guess for the video like what's one of the things that upset you the most that you had to do on your computer yeah what thing upset you the most that you had to do on your computer that's a good question all right Thanks for watching, guys. This is very sad, but bye-bye for now.